Hello, this is Aileen Gonzalez with Life According to Me, and here we are ready to get started with our process. So I'm going to invite you to look through your booklet, and even though you should be looking at the entire booklet before you get started, but for this, for the purpose of this exercise, I want you to go to page 9. And basically there I'm outlining exactly what you're looking to do in this exercise. It's about understanding your situation. It's about asking yourself tough questions, being bold, and it's about you becoming very very honest. Remember, this, this is between you and yourself. Therefore, there's no reason to hold back. There's no reason to lie to yourself. You need to be completely honest with yourself because that's the way you're going to achieve that clarity. Now, when you look at page 10, I titled it Areas of Interest because we're looking at all the areas in our lives that we want to improve. Now, we should never look to improve one part of our lives and ignore the others because everything tends to spill into the other and I'll give you an example if you're having issues at home those issues are gonna trickle into your career they're gonna trickle into your spirituality they're gonna trickle into everything so rather than ignoring let's work on every single area let's treat our life like a project Let's get clear on what our goals are for each part of our lives and start working towards them. Does that make sense? Remember, one area of your life that you leave ignored can be causing havoc in every other area of your life. So we want to make sure that we define all the areas of interest, that we define exactly what we're looking to do because maybe you're not doing something today, but in your vision of a better life, you know that these areas will be will come to play so let's start looking at them today in my example I gave you family I gave you health love finance career development spirituality you can continue adding to this list just make sure that when you're when you're using your notebook that you give space for each subject because again even though we're gonna tackle them all you also want to have them separate so that you can actually understand this is my family goal this is my my personal goal at my work this is what I want to do for maybe for weight loss for health whatever it is you want to divide it that way then once you have divi div defined it divided everything in your notebook then we're gonna to go to step two of clarity which is basically asking bold questions now I emphasize bold because you're looking to become completely honest there is no tough question there is nothing off limits there is no reason for you to lie yourself to lie to yourself remember this is about you achieving full clarity if you've done it in the past acknowledge it if it happened and it hurt accept it understand it this is about you facing your demons I've, I've spoken about this many, many times on my page. We face our demons and we're able to become more powerful. Remember, if you don't face them, if you're fearful, they're going to be more powerful than you. This is the moment of you reclaiming your power. On page 12 and 13, I gave you sample questions. You can use these questions throughout all the areas in your lives, or you can use them as a sample and you can create your own questions. There is no right or wrong way. This is about your life, so get creative. If you want to use them, fine. If you want to reword them, that's okay. Now, one thing that I do ask that you continue to follow is that if you look at the questions, I left an open field. That's where your name goes. The way I did this is I question myself directly. I lean. What's going on? I lean. Why does this hurt you? I lean. Why do you repeat this mistake? Why? Because when you call yourself out, you are forced to pay attention. Now, some answers came immediately. Others took a couple of days. I found that after I asked a question, I could have been driving and the answer would come to me. I could have been in the shower, the answers would come to me. It does not matter. You will get the answers. Just call yourself out. 
Be specific. Expect nothing but the truth. There is no right or wrong and there is no um, a specific amount of questions. You will know exactly what you need to ask. Now, if you go to page 14, you're going to see that I say repeat until you're clear. If you noticed at the video and you, and you began reading the booklet from the beginning, this can take you two days. It can take you seven days like it took me. This can take you 10 or 14. You never know. There is no right or wrong. The only thing that's going to that, that's going to take you that long or that little is by you being open, by you being ready to to find those answers. If you are ready to tackle them, if you're completely bold and you're honest, you might achieve clarity very quickly. But if you take 14 days, that's okay. This is not a competition. This is not anything that's going to, anybody's going to be judging you. This is just an exercise for yourself. You need to open up to be really honest. Now, when I say repeat, it's because after you define all the questions, you're going to take time to respond. The first day that I, that I responded to my questions, I was very quick. I wrote down exactly what was in the, the top of my mind. When I repeated the exercise, I did not look at the answers. I went and I looked at all my questions and I started the process again. I answered everything again and then when I compared them, I noticed that I had tweaked the answers. I did this again for the third day and the fourth day. Each day, my answers continue to change. On the seventh day, when I finally looked at my, my um, responses, not only were they different, but I felt at peace. I felt like I was looking at the truth, the final truth. That was to me an eye opener. So I got to tell you, I enjoy doing this process because I, as, as I would see the changes in my responses, I felt I was moving forward. I felt that I was opening up. So this is actually a really good exercise. It doesn't matter if it takes you two days or 14 or even more. This is about you achieving clarity. Once you achieve clarity, you're going to be able to move forward. So let's stop here. Do the exercise, and once you achieve, remember, if it takes you 10 days or 14, that's when you're going to be ready to move to forgiveness.